And so it's cool to see an animal that's just completely bucking this trend, right? <laughs> it's just like, nope, I'm going to have a tail weapon and I'm going to have it early. And, you know, now we've since discovered too, uh, there's a dinosaur from Chile named Steguros that has a completely unique tail weapon that's not known in other ankylosaurs. It looks like a, a weapon that Aztecs would use called a macoidal, which is a, basically like a flat club that you have obsidian spikes on the outside of it. Mm -hmm. um, and so you've got an animal that looks like it's doing that. It's not building the tail club the same way. Um, doesn't have the fused tail vertebrae. And here you're seeing an animal that's one of the first ankylosaurs, if not the first ankylosaur in the fossil record. And it's super specialized with a tail weapon doing something really weird, right? And so that's not what you'd predict as an evolutionist. You'd think, oh, the, the first ankylosaurs are really generalized, you know, and over time they're going to get these specializations. Over time you're going to build the tail weapon. So it's kind of cool to see something that doesn't match the predictions, um, causing them to kind of rethink how do we tell the story.